Greetings, Laddingtons. Shout out to my man, Wessex Bretwalda, for posting physique to mines. Looking absolutely massive, my, my man. It's um, white pilling to see. Speaking of which, before I begin to talk about the issues at hand, follow me on Mines and Gab, first two links in the description box below. If you do, you will also, just as I have, you will receive the blessings of Skadi and Helios. Good times, good times. Sweden is extremely beautiful sometimes. Well, most of the time, actually. Um, anyway, I thought to talk a bit about coffee, time management, social media, etc. And uh, since we have released, we have launched the Golden Coffee Company, I will start there, talk a bit about my own relationship with coffee. As many of you might remember, back in the day, I actually had a coffee sponsorship, but uh, it, uh, it reached its end and I said to myself, yeah, the only reasonable course of action is for me to, at, at some stage, create my own brand of coffee. So that was a good few years ago and uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's really nice to, to see your own visions come to life like this. So uh, a happy and glorious day to, uh, to be sure. And also I saw a very nice comment on Twitter, it was a Swedish guy who said I will start drinking coffee now to support you. Uh, very heartwarming, but this is not what I want at all. Uh, I do not want you to drink coffee unless you love coffee. So if you ask me, should I drink coffee? My answer is the following. Do you love coffee or not? If you do not love coffee, then you should definitely not drink it. Then you should cut it out from your life. It's not something you need. You know, your body will adapt to the amount of caffeine you drink. So my standard right now is one cup in the morning. It's my moment of colonial luxury that I always look forward to and I savor the moment. A good, a good moment of my day. Then I have a black tea in the afternoon. That is where my, my caffeine levels are at. If I were to go off coffee, my energy levels would still be the same because my mind adapts to uh, to the levels of caffeine. So if you have, you know, if you view coffee as something that you absolutely need to have to function, then it is high time for you to go off. And I have made a video on how to go off caffeine with, uh, you know, without headaches, which you can check out. So basically the, the answer to the question, should you drink coffee? Yeah, it depends on your relationship with it. I do absolutely not want anyone to drink my coffee as a means to function as a normal human being. Uh, my coffee is supposed to be drunk once a day, maybe twice a day. Um, when you savor it, when you savor the moment the most. So don't view it as something you drink for the caffeine. Um, you know, again, go off coffee if that's the case. I don't think it's healthy at all to view it that way. So yeah, that is the uh, that is my point. For me personally, yes I do love coffee. I've always enjoyed it greatly. I have reduced the amount of coffee I drink over the last few years. Before I drank maybe four or even five cups each day. Obviously not a um, particularly good idea. So now I've reduced to one cup, might go up to two cups in the summer, I don't know. I'll see how it, how it is and then I'll go off for a few weeks at, at some later point in the year to restore my uh, receptors in my brain. So what I did with this coffee, with the Golden Coffee Company Gourmet Coffee, I wanted to make the best possible product that 
were meant to be drunk once or twice a day. The company I'm working with have been in existence since the late 1800s, so they have um, they have accumulated knowledge on how to create the best tasting coffee there is. So anyway, that was my point making this coffee. You see the certificates as well. I wanted to make it as luxurious and as legit as possible. So anyway, for all Swedish customers available at jotunamenutrition.se will come to Europe and maybe the Americas later in the year as well. We'll see, I'll keep you all updated on my telegram. Now on to the second point of this video. Similar in some ways, and that is in regards to social media. I said this in a video I made about a year ago. When I started my my crusade in the Immaterium on the internet, the initial thing I wanted to have to be big on was actually Facebook. So that was my main platform for a long time. So from 2013 and onwards. And uh, you know, in its heyday, Facebook 2014-15, what a place it was to be. It was a great mate in a lot of ways. And uh, I sort of miss it in a way. Facebook during that time then of course as it goes with certain things it loses popularity and for me the now it is gone by the way I hadn't used it in in a long time but they removed it anyway because because why not is what uh, they thought to themselves but anyway I stopped using it on a regular basis on in uh, 2018 because I got two 30 day bans um, within you know a few weeks of each other uh, then I thought to myself okay I can't really be on here anymore it's not a place for me so I said farewell to it then and it was a natural step anyway to go from Facebook now of course Instagram as I said before it's been removed uh, I'm trying to look at life from the bright side and I say to myself maybe it was time to move away from that sort of social media but here's the thing social media you have some guys and girls especially girls they like the dopamine kick of likes etc you know that wore up for me you know that stopped being nice for me many years ago you know you get to a point where it doesn't really impact you anymore the amount of likes I used it of course to you know promote uh, a good lifestyle uh, now in retrospect I understand Instagram isn't really the place to promote a healthy lifestyle it's more a platform for uh, soft corn pornography and uh, there I was speaking against pornography so yeah it's uh, I couldn't be there um, anyway what you have to think about when it comes to social media is that it can be very beneficial for you to be on social media uh, if you use it correctly if you use it to gain information insights inspiration etc now of course this is quite similar to the gaming question I've talked about gaming a lot because I admit I admit my heresy I'm a bit of a gamer myself uh, but my perspective as I said you heard me talk about this before I write it in Dauntless as well gaming if you can use it in a positive and productive manner if you can derive inspiration from certain games you know you you play a heroic aesthetic you want to hit the gym because you want to emulate the ideals shown in the game that's something good social media if you follow certain accounts such as if you follow me on gab or minds and you see me starting to post physique or I go into Minds, see my man Wessex Bretwalda has posted physique. I say, yeah, good going, man. I also want to hit the gym now. You know, that is something positive. Or, you know, you can gain new insights, new interesting takes on certain issues by being on social media. Now, of course, Instagram. Yeah, you can still be on Instagram if you want, if you derive some sort of inspiration from it or some joy. But something I note something I noticed with myself and I said this both for Instagram and Twitter and I made a post on Twitter last year I said I was 
horrified to catch myself mindlessly scrolling so I'm taking a break and then I took a break from Twitter for a few months because I found myself instead of being productive instead of doing something that brought value to me such as reading a book or whatever I was mindlessly scrolling to yeah, so as a distraction basically and that's of course very detrimental true for both Twitter and Instagram if you notice that on yourself, yeah, it's time to uh, time to not do it. So you have those sort of very negative things with social media. You can also waste a lot of time taking in information about stuff that doesn't matter in the least. Then you have to ask yourself, is this relevant to my own journey onwards and upwards? Or am I just wasting time? So anyway, there are a lot of bad things, but the good things then, of course, last year, a lot of guys are in quarantine, um, feel a bit lonely, social media, great way to stay connected to like-minded individuals. I will start Physique Friday on either Gab or Minds, I'll see, I will make a separate announcement video later on, you know, where guys can post Physique tag with Physique Friday. I know some guys do it on Twitter already, but we need to do it on Gabber Minds instead. Create our own place. Um, as a sort of, you know, you get a sense of community. So even if someone is in lockdown in the UK or US or Canada or whatever, and he feels, yeah, he needs some interaction, then social media can be a great way for him to feel that he's not completely alone. So that being said, social media can be great in that sense. You have your sense of community, you can gain some inspiration, you can gain some accountability towards others. If you know you're gonna post physique every Friday, yeah, then you need to train hard during the week so you can post an impressive picture. And, you know, yeah, it's a community we build, but um, I will talk about that in a separate video later on. Now, another note, and this is more perhaps to other content creators, something to keep in mind. Do not get a big ego just because you have a big following. And I see this, you know, people start gaining a bit of following, then they think they are the greatest thing ever without really being able to back it up. You know, I'm walking around here now in the beautiful snow um, and if I don't have any social media yeah my Instagram is gone for example I'm still who I am I'm still who I have created myself into becoming with or without any social media so don't confuse you being big on a certain social media you being popular etc with actual gravitas with actual respect from real people because there's a high probability that you are just a you are you are just an account that they follow because of whatever reason but they don't really like you and this might be hard for some to realize but it's nothing personal you shouldn't view it as a personal thing so unless you bring actual value to people you shouldn't expect loyalty from them and again don't take this personally I sure as hell wouldn't take it personally if I had created a uh, following out of things that aren't based on, on real value. Now I've said this before, I'll say it again. I have a very loyal following, I have a very supportive and good following because I've always, you know, my primary point is to give, is to give value back. So I don't just expect people to, oh, follow me because I'm whatever. No, I expect people to follow me because I also bring value back. And that is true no matter the platform. So showing some humility when you are on top. It can be a good idea because sooner or later you will not be on top. You might get banned or whatever. And then you have maybe, you know, been a bit too cocky, too full of yourself without really having any any gold standard of, uh, of quality to back it up so to speak so it's always better to be a bit humble you can be as humble as I am I am the very model of humility as you all know uh, no I'm joking of course but point being that don't confuse 
you know, internet fame with actual worth. Uh, then, of course, if you have internet fame because you have done something good, uh, then yeah, that's of course a different matter. But don't uh, don't get blinded by the fame because it's uh, it has to be based on something more real. Could actually turn this into an a video on economics, talking about the gold standard and fiat currency, etc. But that will be for another time. Now, yet another point on social media is that your time is money. Time is money. Now I have taken I don't know how many minutes out your day and I very much appreciate it. So my hope is that I have given you some value in return for you giving me your time. That's also something you need to keep in mind. When you spend time, it's the exact same as spending money. You know, you give something. You give me 20 minutes out of your day. Hopefully I can give some value in return. Now you have to ask yourself, if you are mindlessly scrolling on Instagram, Instagram's explore page, and you see whatever it is you see. Even worse, if you look at naked or semi-naked women on social media, what do they give you in turn? What do they give you? What value do they give to you when you give them your time? Do you feel... Do you feel in charge? Was my Bane impersonation. Uh, do you feel empowered by watching it or do you feel like wasting your your dragon's breath on a futile endeavor. Of course, if you spend some time on whatever, make sure to get something in turn. Make sure to get something in return. And I would absolutely hate if someone watches my videos just as a way to uh, waste time. That's also why I say, if you are a true, a true disciple, a true fan, then you must live in a way that I promote. Because if you don't, if you don't take the, the teachings to heart, then it's pointless. If you're just watching this because of, you know, whatever. Uh, maybe you watch it because I'm out in a nice countryside. I'm, I don't know. Maybe that's the case. Um, point being, when you invest time in whatever, in social media, ask yourself, what do you gain back from it? When you spend so much time on Instagram, what do you gain back? It's a question you have to answer yourself. If you are on a, if you are in a private Facebook group and you ferociously debate minute details on whatever topic it might be, is it worth your time? Is it worth spending an hour of your time doing it? Or would you be better served by reading for an hour or whatever it might be? So you see, time is an investment. You can invest it however you want. Sometimes social media is a good investment. I aim to make Physique Friday a good investment that you feel, you know, accountability, you feel uh, like you have a community, you feel inspired. It helps you in the gym. That is the point, that's a good, I'm trying to promote a good side of social media. And at the same time, I don't want you to waste time. And then also, of course, in regards to coffee, I wanted to make my own coffee. I wanted to create my own coffee brand so that I can have the best possible coffee for myself at least once or twice a day as a moment of true colonial luxury. You can have it as well if you want. Uh, if, you drink if you drink regular coffee, it's uh, completely up to you. You decide over your own caffeine intake. My advice is, do you not love coffee? Stop drinking it. Again, search on my channel how to quit coffee without headaches. You give some and you get some good advice. If you do love coffee, yeah, make the most out of it. Make it um, a ritual in your day that you take a time, that you take time from your day to create a moment of value. So anyway, I have rambled on enough. Thank you for watching. XXO, boom.